Hi, this is Jeremy with Digi Tech Support. IP pass-through essentially turns a WR cellular router into a cellular modem. It is intended for applications where you have a device with an Ethernet WAN interface that you need to transform into cellular. For example, if you wish to use your own router for a project instead of the WR. This video will demonstrate how to configure IP pass-through on a WR to hand the mobile IP address to an Ethernet attached device behind the WR so the WR becomes transparent and the mobile IP becomes the IP of the Ethernet attached device. This video assumes that the Ethernet attached device which needs the mobile IP address is directly connected to the WR and its DHCP client is enabled to obtain the IP address automatically. Log in to the WR web UI and go to configure network IP pass through. Check the box for enable IP pass through. The default settings are recommended for most installations where the local interface to bind the pass through connection to is ETH0 and the shared interface is the mobile WAN interface PPP1. The normal 24-bit mask Ethernet DHCP mode uses NAT and is recommended for most scenarios. With this mode, the WR sets the mobile IP address as the IP of the Ethernet attached device and sets the default gateway to the mobile IP with the last octet being a 1. The only exception is if the mobile IP ends in a 1. In this case, the default gateway of the Ethernet attached device would be dot .2. Pinholes are ports that will stop at the WR instead of being passed through to the Ethernet attached device. If no pinholes are checked, you will lock out all access to the WR. In this example, we're selecting the HTTP pinhole to allow us to continue to access the WR web UI via HTTP. Click Apply. Next, determine what the default gateway of the Ethernet attached device is. To do this, look at the IP settings of the Ethernet attached device, which in this case is a Windows PC. Again, the default gateway typically should be the WR's mobile IP, except ending in .1. Using a web browser, navigate to this default gateway address to log into the WR web UI. Save the settings. Finally, reboot the WR. Thanks for watching and please let us know if you have any questions or feedback by emailing tech.support at digi.com.